Before starting this video, please note in my place, there are two plants, with the same name which are Shuklo tea, and Shuklo tea. Shuklo tea plant, scientific name is Bogus Timinbing alensis, of family Lamiaceae, and its uses are shoots, and leaves used in stomach pain, and menstrual disorders. Shuklo tea plant, scientific name is Mesenda Roxburghii hook, of family Rubiaceae, and its uses are leaves used in postnatal care and jaundice. In this video, I am sharing the Shuklo tea, and its family Rubiaceae, of Mesenda plant. Herbal remedies can induce hepatotoxicity, and chemicals that cause liver injury are called hepatotoxins. Hepatotoxicity, from hepatic toxicity, implies chemical riven, liver damage. There are more than 900 drugs, that can cause liver injury. Excessive use of the medication parastimol can cause acetaminophen poisoning, and may cause of drug-induced liver disease, and acute liver failure. Drug-induced liver injury, may lead to acute liver failure. Sharing a medicinal plant, known as Shuklo tea, which is hepatoprotective, that is protect the liver from damage, against anti-tubercular drug, induced hepatotoxicity antioxidant. Scientific name is Mesenda Roxburghii, of family Rubiaceae. Uses, leaves used in postnatal care, and jaundice. Postnatal care is the care given to the mother, and her newborn baby immediately after the birth, and for the first six weeks of life. The Rubiaceae family is a rich source of medicinal plants, with 500 genus, and 5300 species in it, and I cannot share all the genus, and species in my video. I am sharing only two varieties, of this medicinal plant. This plant is a wealthy source, of medicinally important phytoconstituents, such as terpenes, flavonoids, and iridoids. The numerous species of this genus is easy growing, and possess numerous medicinal properties such as antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antipyretic, antiviral, cytotoxicity, diuretic, etc. Leaves are used for the treatment of fever, and inflammation. The whole plant is used for the treatment of deparent, febrifuge, purgative, asthma, albuminuria, gastroenteritis conjunctivitis, and dermatosis. Roots are used for the prehepatic jaundice, skin rashes in babies, leaves, and stem are said to possess antioxidant and free radical scavenging activity. This is Mesenda philippica, of the same family Rubiaceae. The leaves of this are used as an antibacterial, an antifungal, and said to possess antioxidant activity, and analgesic. Leaves, and sepals are used as an anticonvulsant, and for jaundice. Flowers are used as an antibacterial, antioxidant, and sepals were found to be antioxidant, and antitumor activity against breast cancer, and colon cancer cell lines. Burke is used as a remedy for dysentery, stomach ache, leaves for lung and chest infections. Stems of Mesenda philippica, is said to be hepatoprotective, that is protect the liver from damage, against anti-tubercular drug induced hepatotoxicity, antioxidant, and anti-inflammatory. The leaves, stem, bark of Mesenda philippica are antibacterial. As there are many varieties, and most of the species of this Mesenda wild plant, are used for cough, bronchitis, fever, wounds, ulcers, leucoderma, pruritus, jaundice, and anti-inflammatory activity. Leaves make excellent herbal shampoo, it is used in traditional medicine, as anti-diarrheal, diuretic, and in lithiasis. It is valued for cough, as a vermifuge for children, in the treatment of headache, and in arsenic poisoning. The herb is also used in malaria, and skin diseases, and snake bites. Flowers are diuretic, anti-asthmatic, anti-periodic. Leaves and flowers are used in external applications, for ulcers. Roots are used in the treatment, of white leprosy. White pediolate bract, is used for treating jaundice. The juice of the plant, is used to treat eye infections. A decoction of the leaves, is used to rid the body of intestinal worms. The root is used as a treatment, for leprosy. The juice of the roots, combined with about 10%, by volume of cow's urine, is used in the treatment of jaundice. The juice is also used to treat blemishes, on the tongue. The juice of the bark, is used in the treatment of body ache, diarrhea, and dysentery.